Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Oops, two cards fell there. Okay, so the first card is about originality and you're having a really uh, a good set of ideas coming to light really. Some, some really brilliant ideas um, coming around from you uh, and that is, uh, you know, you're using your mind a lot. You've got Mercury sitting there in Aquarius and you're generating some really, really good thoughts, really, really good ideas that you're managing to communicate with other people. So it could be something very technical that you're dealing with, uh, but a lot of good original ideas coming from you. Uh, so you do need to detach from the situation a little, a little bit. Uh, you know, you've you, you are focused a lot on your mental energy or mental work over there. And so try not to get let any, what anybody else says get you, um, you know, emotionally down. Because you've got a lot of water in this card. So you let your mind go uh, and don't let whatever people say, uh, you know, restrict the way you're thinking as well. So whatever is going on, you're being able to adapt to that situation as well. So this is where all this brilliance is coming in. Maybe you're, you're finding new solutions to problems that you're dealing with uh, and original I solutions to problems because you're trying to find, um, you know, on a how to get by, get through things. You look like, It looks like you're multitasking a lot as well. So whatever um, issues you're facing, you know, you're doing a lot and having to come up with some original ideas uh, and also a need to detach from whatever that outcome of that situation is in a sense that, you know, don't put too much of emphasis about if things don't work out, uh, just, you know, move on, find another uh, avenue to pursue. Um, you know, don't let yourself be bogged down by things that don't work out. So going to the future, you've got the domination card over here. So it looks like there's been somebody around you that has been taking advantage of you and maybe even bullying you in a sense. You've got Mars there in Sagittarius over there and the Sagittarius energy uh, with Mars kind of trying to restrict it. So there could be somebody around you trying to dominate you there and maybe being very, very critical of what you've been doing as well. This is Mars in uh, Virgo over here. So there are a lot of critical, maybe they're looking at what you're doing and they've got something to say about it. So you're dealing with that kind of energy. And especially since you're coming up with a lot of original ideas. Maybe this is based on a lot of jealousy as well. They're trying to suppress you uh, because you are coming up with some really good solutions to things. Now going to the future, you've got the versatility card. So it looks like you're on a roll. You're quite adaptable. Even that adaptability card is over there. And then you've got that versatility. So you're going to be able to, uh, you know, get around any kind of situation. It doesn't seem, you're very, very flexible, it looks like it. Uh, but there's a lot of, you know, sun in, in uh, Gemini. It looks like there's brilliance in the ideas that you're coming up with. Uh, you know, and... Um, and it looks like there's a bit of a rebel as well in you over there with that rebellion card and Mars sitting in Aquarius. So whatever original ideas, it might be going against what everybody else is saying, but you're not listening to whatever they're going to say, or you don't need to, because, you know, you stand up and speak your truth. You can see this man's pointing his sword out over there, because your ideas are very, very good. They're very, very original. And, uh, you know, uh, you're a very independent thinker as well. But whatever happens, it's going to give you that independence, because right now, uh, you know, where you've been dominated by somebody, whatever the new, uh, these new ideas are, somebody's going to take note of it. And uh, this is going to allow you uh, to gain your independence as well of that situation. So, you, you know, they might just end up just leaving you alone to get on with things uh, on your own um, without being, um, you know, under anybody else's thumb, if you like, or being bullied by anybody else. So this is going to allow you to allow the true you to emerge. So a lot of new ideas, a lot of new things coming out from you. And just don't get emotional if somebody gets very critical about what you're doing. Uh, because, you know, you, it looks like you're doing a lot of uh, thinking. You could be even doing some new courses or new training. Uh, something that allows you to improve your career status as well. Okay, so those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Rackham Tarot, and that's the main read. The bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Coins over here. Um, so this is about setting up stability uh, as far as, you know, your work goes. Um, 
This is also about getting some help in order for you to get finances in. It looks like there's somebody there to help you. Um, and it looks like you're also accumulating a lot of knowledge as well. So you could be in a, in a point where you're studying as well. Uh, but also with the four of coins, you know, watching your finances, getting your balance back, uh, deciding what is important, prioritizing, and setting off some kind of state of stability as far as, you know, your work goes. You're getting to that kind of stable position. Like I said, you might be working with somebody as well that is guiding you, that is helping you as well achieve whatever you want to achieve. Now, what's going on for you? You've got that queen of pentacles over here and you've got the two of cups. And the Queen of Pentacles could be an energy around you, or this could be you. If it's an energy around you, it could be an Earth sign person, which is uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy, giving you some kind of guidance, being a very, very good friend. But this could also be you uh, getting in the money, coming in, you know, getting that financial independence as well. You've got the Two of Cups crossing it, so there's a new friendship coming in over here, or something really reliable, something, a very soulmate kind of connection coming in over here. And it looks like, you know, you, you've got that four of uh, pentacles over here. It looks like somebody's over there. That's very, very helpful. Very, very, uh, somebody who gives you a lot of good advice as well. Um, but also, uh, you know, you're at this particular point where you are getting your financial independence or you're in some kind of leadership role as well. And maybe this new friendship is coming in. This could be, a, you know, like I said, it could be an earth sign energy coming in for you as a good friend. So in the past, you've got the Eight of Swords. You've been feeling very trapped, very, very, uh, you know, almost as though people have been uh, criticizing you a lot, uh, saying things and not allowing you to move forward. Um, you know, very restricting kind of energy. They've got a lot of old ideas. And maybe this is why these new ideas that you're bringing in is causing a lot of um, people to, uh, you know, criticize you. Uh, you can see there's a very, very old woman, and she's, you know, uh, on with a, this walking cane over here. So it, it seems like their ideas are very old, and maybe it was something that you you are trying to look beyond. That is why you're doing a lot of thinking, or you're doing you're presenting a lot of new ideas to them. Now you're focused a lot on the work over there. You've got that Three of Pentacles, and it looks like you are working with somebody. The Three of Pentacles is also about being in charge, being organized, uh, managing resources pretty well, and, you know, working to, uh, you know, build cathedrals, like I always say, um, so building something big, but putting a lot of effort into it, and you're bringing, in, you know, you've got all that, your work had got you really restricted, so your thinking has been restricted by the old-fashioned ideas that are going on around you. Now, it looks like there's that new friendship coming in. So this looks like there is a new friendship coming in on that work front. Uh, maybe there's even a promotion coming in for you, but there's also that really good friendship coming in as well. Uh, now, how you're feeling around you as though, you know, you're alone and isolated and everybody else has ganged up against you with this uh, five off rods. So, uh, you know, they're also very restrictive about how you think and what you do. So maybe they just want you to keep, uh, you know, within a, a very confined way of thinking and really you are not that kind of a person because Sagittarius is a, is a planet of, it's ruled by Jupiter which is the planet of expansion so you have a lot of brilliant ideas and maybe a lot of people not really li liking that and maybe they have isolated you from the crowd or they have ganged up against you and you know they've got something to say about what you do now you've got the Seven of Cups coming in over here. So you have a lot of options. Maybe you want to move on and you're thinking of actually uh, doing something else. Uh, so with the Seven of Cups, it's having a lot of cups available to you and not knowing which one to choose. You do need to do some research to decide about what you want, to, how you want to proceed further. Like I said, there is that good friendship coming in. You've got that Six of Cups over here. So you may have worked with this person before, uh, but if you haven't, uh, you've got a, an almost a soulmate kind of connection with this person. And it looks like it's an earth sign person because you've got that queen of pentacles over there. Uh, someone who's very, very maternal as well. Uh, and you have, you, it seems like you're falling, uh, forming a very, very strong bond. It looks like, you know, this person is giving you a lot of good advice. This could be a good, re uh, a new relationship, uh, but since it's on the work front, it looks like it's more likely that it is a, a very good friendship and a very, um, you know, somebody that you'd, you've known in the past. But also something that gives you some really profound um, support or advice as well. Now you've got that Knight of Pentacles over here and this is you moving on but you're also working very very hard at whatever you're doing in your work um, you know and to generate that money so you are very very focused on earning that particular money. 
maybe you're actually even thinking of leaving this job because you've got that seven of cups sitting next to it and you know moving on to a new job as well so you've got that chariot card over there so it looks like you are planning this is on your mind you're thinking about leaving this particular situation moving on completely maybe you're even thinking of going and you know doing this particular job in another country or in another place but you're actually uh, mulling over this particular idea because wherever you are at they've got you you know cornered almost feeling very stressed out but also um, you know they're all having a go at you over here you can see these dogs are barking at this woman so it's really you know you're, you're not dealing with very very nice people maybe they say really nasty things to you so it looks like coming into the future and the final outcome, you've got the death card over here and the queen of rods and you've got the five of swords. So the death card, it looks like you're going to enter the situation and move on. Uh, maybe things have gotten a bit out of hand right now and you're not really happy where you are at at all. You've got the queen of rods over here. So it looks like wherever you go, uh, you know, you're going to be traveling to do it, starting a new job somewhere else. And it's going to be some kind of promotion because uh, it's the queen of rods, uh, a kind of a leadership position where you're going to get a lot more recognition for whatever. You can see this man's kissing this woman's hand. So, you know, you're going to go into a new job where people appreciate you a lot more and give you a lot more recognition for whatever you do. So it looks like you're cutting ties there, you're ending that cycle, uh, and you're going to be moving on. Uh, and, you know, you're coming out of a situation where there's been a lot of conflict so, uh, you know, you might have to break a contract as well, this contract that you are involved in, whatever this work contract is, because it's the Five of Swords, uh, because there's a lot of conflict that is going on over here. And, you know, the Swords cards talks about legal contracts. So this is ending of legal contracts that might happen for you to find your path and move on. And the new job that you go into uh, might be better off for you. Uh, you know, a lot more appreciation coming and it looks like you are ending things there. So I'm just going to draw some cards um, for the from the animal tarot. Okay, so you've got the princess of winter over here. It says there's an intellectual challenge that calls on your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you, bluntly accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. So maybe people saying things to you that are really nasty around, uh, you know, very blunt and how they say things and being very, very crit critical. This could also be some news coming in, uh, you know. So this could be something legal or official coming in for you. This could be you even signing uh, new contracts. This could be even a new work offer coming where you have to sign contracts as well. So that seems to be coming in for you pretty quickly as well. It's going to allow you to leave the clouds behind and move forward. So whatever this news is, it's not nasty news. It's something that's going to liberate you from this particular situation, give you your freedom. The seagull is wearing a crown after all and flying away from from the thunder clouds so whatever this news is is going to liberate you and uh, allow you to move forward and you've got the chariot also moving forward so there's news coming in that's going to allow you to make the decision to move forward you can successfully b uh, balance various and opposing energies uh, once through determination and focus so and you have earned the rewards and recognition you are receiving this chariot card <coughs> shows you leaving behind that situation and moving forward in victory also taking control of that situation uh, but it's also you know a change of jobs a change of situation so some news coming in for you um and that is official news this is probably a new contract a new work situation that you're going to be entering where you move on and start something afresh and you've got the queen of winter over here so all your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth it is time to declutter your home clear away the situation that isn't working for you anymore and disengage from people who create too much of drama so it looks like whatever the situation is, you're going to get news. If you put in application forms for a new job, that is coming in. It's going to allow you to move away from it. And, uh, you know, whatever this new job is that is going to be coming in your way uh, is going to be something where you uh, don't have that much of drama anymore. And there's no, uh, you know, you don't have to deal with that situation anymore. Uh, you've got that five of rods where there's so much of drama and 
fighting going on and nastiness. With the Queen of Swords, it's you know about independence and taking control and being in charge, uh, but not having to deal with all the drama that is going on. Uh, and it looks like you're just waiting for that decision to come through or waiting for that offer to come in. And it looks like it is coming in pretty quickly as well. Uh, but it's going to give you a you know a very a calm a calmer place to be in, a better place to work in, uh, and put you in charge because this Queen of Winter is wearing that crown. So something of authority. You can even see here, you're like the queen looking for your path and maybe uh, trying to make a decision on how to move forward with that queen of cups. Um, so it looks like um, whatever is coming is going to mean that you're going to have to break off, uh, accept this new position and move on. And you're going to be much more appreciated uh, and, you know, get away from that conflict that you have been dealing with. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.